Welcome back, Express Nation. Today we're taking a look at the new Rimfire Modular Espresso from Rex Lenthium, the SEG. Rex Lenthium is no stranger here at Express Nation. Previously, we shot the Fidelis and we shot the Honorish. Click above for the Rex Lenthium playlist. Now for the weight of the SEG in full configuration. 5.1 ounces. For the length of the SEG in full configuration, six and seven eighths of an inch. And here you can see the six baffles, the two joints, and the two segments in the end cap, which are all aluminum. And on this side, we have the 17-4 stainless steel baffles, blast chamber, and segment. This is our first time shooting the SEG, so before we get to the metering, let's load up some mags and see how it sounds to the ear. All right, now it's time for a side-by-side -side Walther P22. On mine, I got the 22 takedown from T-Bac. And I got the Rex Seg. If you follow my Instagram account, you know 17 HMR is my favorite round to shoot. Next up, Chris will be shooting 17 through a Savage Rifle. Rex says his can's amazing on 17. Guess we're gonna find out. Definitely like the sag on the 17. All the noise is down range. You can shoot this thing all day long. We're using wire pulling gel from Lowe's to wet the cans. Now we got the seg short, running it wet. Honestly, did not think the seg was gonna be that quiet when ran short on a pistol, but when ran wet, I think it sounds very nice. Now that we have a feel for the tone of the seg and how it sounds to our ears, let's put it on the meter and see how it measures up.
One thing we're not big fans of are the joints of the SIG. With traditional modular rimfire cans, the rear of each section is threaded. Making disassembly and reassembly fast. With the SIG, everything starts with the threaded rear end cap and goes forward. If it's not screwed in far enough, you will experience baffles that can move or the front end cap is screwed in too far where you can't put a wrench on it. Please read the including instructions that come with the SIG. For a detailed explanation of how to assemble and disassemble the SIG, look in the description down below for a link. The only other issue we've ran into is guns with bull barrels like the FBSR. If you don't happen to get that end cap screwed on tight enough like it should be, and when you go to remove it, it can come undone. As you can see here, the barrel is actually thicker than the rear end cap, so you need a really thin wrench to get in there to break it loose. You want to make sure whenever you hit the range, you have some thin wrenches with you. It'd be nice for Exolanthium to include one with the SEG, but for the price of less than a tag stamp, you really can't complain. We found a set of thin wrenches on Amazon for around 20 bucks. What we found with modular suppressors, when you first get them, you're going to try the different configurations on your different host, and you're going to find the one you really love, and it's going to stay on that host in that configuration. The joints aren't a deal breaker for us because we always leave it in that one configuration once we find what we like. But for those of you who only have one rimfire can, we just want you to know this before you make your purchase. With Rex, you have to love their warranty. 100% no fault warranty, valid across the known universe until the end of time. If that doesn't cover everything, I don't know what does. Well guys, we hope you liked the video this week. Gotta say my favorite host for this seg was a 17 HMR. If you had any doubts on whether the 17 HMR was worth suppressing, look at those sub 120 numbers at the year. The seg's light, quiet, cheap. The only other thing I would want would be a flat wrench at it. If you're enjoying the content, make sure to like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell. And remember to subscribe on YouTube, GunStreamer, and Full30. Support those who support us. And make sure to stop by the Full30 forum where you can interact with your favorite content creators. So say a fellow want to pick up a seg, where would we get it from? Handsomebrothers.com.